Oh hello guys, today I'm gonna try and show you how I basically set up my system for gaming. This is not gonna be in-depth guide, but just let's say go through. So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, so let me first show you, this is a basic installation of vanilla Arch Linux, nothing special, I just installed it on my laptop, so I'm gonna use the opportunity to try and show you how I set up my basic, my basic system for gaming, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing, I'm gonna install a graphical user interface for Pac-Man which is the package manager for Arch Linux. I really like Pac-Man, it's easy to use. And let's get to it. First, open your terminal. Well, not that, I said terminal. Okay, much better. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use the yay helper with dash s and pamac dash a U R. Okay, enter, enter again. It's gonna ask for a password, of course. This may take a few seconds. Uh, let me pause the video and I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, and the install is finished. Let's just update and refresh all the packages of the system just in case. And we should be able to open PAMAC now. Give it a second, okay. And this is PAMAC. If you have never seen it, it's pretty basic. It has all the categories here. It has the search button. Uh, what I basically do here is just go to the preferences. Of course, password is needed. Password always needed. Go to the third party and enable the AUR support. All I do is check for updates. And that's it, nothing else. So, let's start installing some packages. First, I want to install the wine staging. And this one is in the official repository. Like I said, most of the packages I'm gonna use here are in the official repositories. If you want to use the Git version, which is a little bit more bleeding edge, you can, but this is in the AUR. But this is up to you. I'm gonna use the regular one. Uh, the next one is Steam, of course. And Utris. Okay, here I'm gonna do a little experiment. There is a new package I found out recently, which is NVIDIA. NVIDIA Prime. Okay. I'm gonna try and install that one too because I am using laptop with NVIDIA and integrated Intel graphical uh, GPU. So let's try that. Just click apply. Synchronizing package databases, okay. This might take a few seconds. Please be patient. Okay, I'm gonna use the library 32 NVIDIA utils instead of everything else. Choose and let's get ready for install. Click apply. Like I said, it's so much easier with the graphical user interface. Of course, you can do it through the terminal, but for the sake of the video, like I said, and it's easier for new users, let's say, use the PAMAC. 
this should not take more than a couple of minutes. I'll pause the video again and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, the install has just finished. It took only two or three minutes. It's pretty quick and as you can see the system needs to be restarted right now which is well usual. So let's go and do that. I'll pause the video once more and I'll get back after the restart. Okay, and we are back after the restart. So we have pretty much everything we need already installed and ready to go. Let's open Steam and of course Woodris. We're gonna set them up little quick. And we are ready to go. Steam might take a little longer to open the first time because it's checking for updates. But Wootris should be ready pretty quick. Okay, now everything seems fine. I am already locked in in Steam. Yes, there you go. So let's go a little quick through what I do and how I set up Steam. Basically, I leave almost everything as it is. I'm gonna change just a few things. Just go to the settings. Uh, I have additional hard drive on this laptop which keeps all my Steam games and Steam libraries. So let's go to that, to the storage, click to the plus button and add that folder. Select and all my games are loaded and ready to go just for sake of keeping this folder default. Just click here on the settings and make it default. See it? Okay, so that's pretty much it with the folder. Uh, you have one more little thing to do and that's the compatibility. Compat compatibility. Sorry for my pronunciations today. Uh, so just check the Steam Play for all other titles. This is enabling the Proton, which is pretty important if you're playing Windows games. It's gonna ask to restart Steam. That's okay. Let's do that. And while we wait for Steam to load, let's go through the Wootris. I have account here too. I'm gonna walk in a little quick. Okay, Steam. Oh wow, I have some updates to do. Okay, I'll do that later. Okay, let's go and sign in to Utris. What I like to do here is just go to the preference again, to the global options. Like I said, I have separate hard drive which keeps all my games and my basic data. Check Utris, okay, and save it. Now you can start installing some games. I already have installed it on that drive, but because it's not recognized them, I there is a nice little option on this new version of Utris. Just go to the plus button and this scan a folder for games. This is pretty pretty useful to me. Just go there, browse for the folder that keeps all the games. Click OK, continue, Let, uh, wait for the few seconds to find all your games and you're golden. OK, and now we can close it. You should have all the games. 
but if you don't have it and if you want to install like let's let's say guild wars just click twice uh usually i select the yeah that one the dxvk 64 bit just click install nothing to change here except if you want to change like i have external folder for all my games and it's not gonna use the default one but i already set up this in the settings menu like you say like we all saw so just click continue and wait for the install well actually downloading the script and files that needs for install to start This might take a few seconds, so again, I'm gonna pause the video here. Okay, we're almost ready for the next stage. That actually took a while, I don't know what's happening. Maybe my internet speed is crappy today, but oh well. Let's continue with the Guild Wars 2 install. Okay, that says it's gonna download some files from the GitHub and the Amazon Cloud. So just click install. This should be faster this time. Wait for the script to finish. Okay, when it gets to this stage, just close and let it continue. And it's already installed. Just click launch. And you should have Guild Wars 2 up and running. Of course, it's gonna take a while to download all the game files, but that's to be expected, right? All right. Okay, the downloading should take a while, so I'm not gonna wait for it right now. I'm not gonna waste your time with it. So let's just check if any of the game let's say the elder scrolls runs just click twice on it wait for the world to finish oh yeah the launcher needs to be updated first time it's watching so that's that's okay First time it's always taking longer than expected, so don't worry about it. Okay, and the launcher is ready. It just needs to be updated a little bit. That shouldn't take too long. Uh, let me pause the video again and I'll get back when this is done. Okay, and the update of the game and the launcher it's finished and the game it's ready to launch now uh, before i do that i just want to show you one more thing before we are done with waters and this is just installing a better version of wine so just go to the wine manage versions and i like to install the newest Wait for it to finish the install. It's not gonna take that long. Okay, click OK. And now you can choose the newest version of Wine or Proton to be used with the specific game. You can do that with right clicking on the game. Just go to the Configure, Runner Options, and here from the menu you can select the one we just installed which is G Proton 
by 8 click save and you are ready to start the game again with the newer Y it's gonna take a few seconds for the wine to update the configuration and let's click play and see what's happening And as you can see, the game is launches no problem. It's just that this launcher is so annoying. It doesn't even let me close it. Okay, here you go. Let's log in. It's gonna take a little while the first time we run it. I'm gonna pause the video again and I'll come, I'll come back when it's loaded. And we got to the character screen. Let's pick one of the characters just to check that everything works. Let's go with the Templar. This should take a while too, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, and we are back in the game this time. As you can see, it looks pretty good, runs pretty good. Not the best, but my laptop, it's not what it used to be. It's getting older now, but for now it's, well, better than nothing, right? Uh, okay, let's close it and let's end up the video here. Okay, so that's gonna be all for today. Uh, like I said, this was just a basic go through configuration of me setting up my system for gaming. It's not that hard as you can see, especially on Arch Linux. I know many people used to say that Arch Linux was hard, Arch Linux was hard to install. Well, nowadays it, that's not the case, even with the new Arch install script. Even I can do it. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want me to do the same with Ubuntu, let's say, I can do it. Just let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.